How you doing? I'm Kevin O'Hara for Alcohol Mastery and this is Stop Drinking Alcohol Week 52. Uh, one year since I quit drinking. Um, just a short one this week because I'm doing a, a video uh, about what I've learned during the, during the first year since I've quit drinking. Um, it's going to be a bit of a long one so if you're going to watch it get yourself a cup of coffee or a pot of coffee. Uh, hopefully it'll be of some value to you. Um, I'll put a link down below as soon as it's done. I was a bit apprehensive before uh, Christmas about facing the, the, the whole holiday season without alcohol. And to be honest, it went without a hitch. Uh, the topic of alcohol did come up on several occasions. Um, mostly my sisters uh, wanted to know exactly what I was doing. You know, they were very inquisitive about the, the website. and. Uh, uh, one of them had even had a look at some of the videos, which was a bit embarrassing, to say the least. Um, not because I'm, I'm, uh, I don't want them to see what I'm doing, but it's just one of those things. It's like, it's very, it's much more difficult, I think, to show it to your family, that kind of stuff, than than it is to uh, to strangers, you know, just to put it up online. Um, so, but you know, I got good reviews, so you can't go wrong when you. Your sister gives you a good review. Uh, all in all, I have to say, I really, really enjoyed the whole atmosphere of, of it all, you know, Christmas and the New Year. Um, I really got into the spirit of things. Uh, you know, I know it sounds a bit corny, but the only spirits I ever got into before was uh, the 40% proof type, you know. But uh, I had a good time. It was, uh, it was surprisingly good. You know, throughout the whole um, season, I didn't have one uh, one time when I when I thought I wanted to drink. Um, actually, the only time I did think about drinking at all was uh, when my son sent me a message saying that he'd he'd uh, missed his flight. And you know, it wasn't because he missed his flight. Or um, it flashed across my mind for the briefest of seconds. And really, it was because. I'd spent so much time looking forward to him coming over and the immediate thing that flashed in front of my mind was uh, that he wasn't coming over, um, that he was, I wasn't going to see him all over Christmas and that he'd be sat on his own in his flat with all his mates gone, um, gone to their own homes uh, and he'd be on his own over Christmas. Uh, you know, and all that flashed through my mind within uh, a couple of seconds and one side that had gone and I thought jeez oh, I've got to look and book a new flight uh, everything was grand even my sister said it to me I think I said this before uh, she said uh, when I called her because my credit card wouldn't work um, online so I had to call my sister to get her to book a flight for me um, and I told her and she says don't be drinking now but um, yeah everything everything turned out well um, I booked a flight for him and he had to, uh, he got the, the flight the same day, um, but he had to take two flights, he had to make a stop over in Madrid. Uh, so he spent all night awake in Madrid for his troubles, you know. <laughs> but when he arrived, all was forgiven, so he, uh, we went out a lot, we went out walking loads. Uh, I think I've done more walking with him over the, over the week he was over here than, than, uh, than ever before in any one week period anyway. Um, we went, uh, we talked a lot, we chatted a lot about different things including his plans for the future and he was asking me about how I was going on and all this kind of stuff so um, and he, he didn't hardly drink at all. Um, I was afraid of that before he came over because um, I know he likes to drink uh, and I was afraid that he'd get over here and you just want to have a um, go out and stuff on benders, and, and he didn't. Uh, I didn't see him drunk once, even uh, when we went to my sister's, and she nobody seemed drunk. And I, I don't know if it was me, um, whether just because I was drunk on all those occasions before that it seemed like everyone else was, or I wanted it to seem like everyone else was, if you know what I mean. But um, the first slurred words that I heard from his mouth was uh, when he got home. He left on New Year's Eve. 
Uh, and it was planned like that because just to let him go home and, and have a bit of crack with his mates over, you know, it was a better celebration for New Year's than being with his old man. Um, and I called him in the evening just to make sure he'd arrived home safely and uh, to wish him a happy new year. And it was only then that I that I heard him slurring his, his words, and not too badly either, you know. Uh, I spoke to him the next day and he did say he'd had a skin full, but, you know, I was there so many, so many years. Um, but the big thing I can take from it is that uh, I think I had a good influence on him, not only because I wasn't drinking and, you know, he's, he said, you know, how much better I looked uh, and how much he was thankful for that, which uh, I'm delighted about. Um, but also because uh, I did, just didn't have drink around the house. I mean, Esther had a few, a few uh, glasses of wine over Christmas. She doesn't drink that much. Uh, but there wasn't any massive amounts of drink around the place. Um, so I really have to ask myself the question whether I was encouraging him to drink in Christmases of past. I think that was a big thing. Um, was just before Christmas even started, I'd be I'd uh, stock up the place with plenty of drinks, and uh, you know there was it all had to be drank obviously between the time that we started the sessions before Christmas and by the time everyone went back to work after Christmas. So it's no wonder we uh, start the new year with such massive hangovers. I've learned so much in the last year um, since I quit drinking and most of that's to do with obviously not having alcohol inside my system anymore and just being capable of doing so much more with my life. Uh, I'd hate to think where I would be now if, um, if I hadn't stopped drinking. Uh, I don't even want to think about it, you know, the possibilities are sort of endless anyway so there's no point. But the main thing is that uh, I feel like I'm outside of that um, horrendous loop that I was in, uh, the vicious cycle I was in uh, for so many years. And I feel like finally I'm completely free of it. Uh, I felt that sort of, uh, not immediately, but... I sort of felt it coming on, I didn't understand it. I didn't know where it was gonna lead me. Um, I was completely unsure about everything at the beginning. Like I say, when I look back at some of the, the earlier videos, uh, I'm sort of shocked at, at, um, at where it was. Well, the space that I was in, you know, where where my head was, sort of the damage that I'd done, I, you know, it was shocking. It, it, and that kind of thing, just looking back, is um, is uh, it's a great thing to do for anyone because, honestly, if you've got pictures of yourself after you've, you know, before you quit, and then look back on them after a few months, you really see the difference. And uh, scary from one perspective, but it's well worth it from another. And it's completely educational, you know. It, it, it uh, opens up your eyes to to the real damage that you're doing to yourself. One of the personal lessons I, that I've I've learned is that it, it's it's not an easy process by no means. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's a hard thing to get through. Um, but all the symptoms and the, the side effects and the cravings and all that crap doesn't last long. And it's only, uh, it's mostly inside your head. Um, there's outside influences, but, you know, the only thing that you can really control is what's going on, um, you know, inside and how you react to things. Um, and it's not an easy process, but you know, it's as I say, it's well, well worth it. And uh, 
after a year, there's no way I'd go back on, uh, back on the alcohol. Um, and it's completely because I've changed my, my whole mindset. It's not just because uh, I don't drink anymore and because um, um, I feel healthier because of that, but it, it's because I know exactly the damage that it was doing to me. So, you know, I, I couldn't do it now. I couldn't go back. You know, I, I, I feel much better about the way that I'm conducting my own life. I, talking about conducting it, it's, it, you know, I feel that, that I am in control of it. I'm capable of conducting my own life again. Um, whereas before, it, it was just, like I say, that vicious, horrible loop in circle um, that I just couldn't get out of. Uh, but everything has improved. I can't name one aspect of my life that hasn't improved. Um, my health, I feel 100% better. Still a, a long way to go. Um, I still can see the, the improvements that I want to make, but at least I can see those improvements now. Um, you know, it's not all about being hung over and uh, that mask and everything else, that's lifted now and I've no longer got that, so I can feel the problems now. I can feel where I have to do some work um, and which direction I have to go. Uh, my financial problems have all but disappeared. I mean, they're, you know, they're, not, they're not financial problems anymore. It was more worries. I mean, I've never been a spendthrift or spending, um, never been into buying shit or anything like that. So, uh, mostly it was to do with worrying because I didn't know where my life was going to. So, if you don't know where that's going, then you're thinking, well, Jesus, where am I going to be in 10 years' time? You know, if uh, if I feel this way now, if I feel this bad now, where am I going to be when when uh, I'm feeling 10 years worse? So um, another area that's really improved is my memory. You know, I, I, the, the year just seems to have, uh, have taken on a slow down aspect. You know, it's just hasn't sped by like previous years mostly because I have been uh, participating in, in every part of my life instead of just being uh, like a, a, a drunken passenger, you know, where most of the time I've been, um, I don't even know how to describe it now, it's uh, just a horrible way of living. Tripping all the time. half asleep in a dream world but it's not even a world where you're dreaming it's a uh, it's a world where everything is spinning and oof, I don't know other areas that have improved relationships I mean relationships are a two way thing when you're drinking it's a fairly selfish uh, pastime so you know when you're not drinking anymore you've got a lot more time a lot more patience a lot more willingness to give so your relationships are definitely going to improve and the same thing as your not only your close relationships but your social relationships um so yeah everything's improved so i stopped drinking alcohol week 52 one year since i've quit drinking um Thank you to everybody for all the comments that you've left both on YouTube and on, uh, on the website. Thanks to all the people that have subscribed to the channel, that have subscribed to the, uh, to the newsletter. I appreciate every single one of the um, sentiments of encouragement that I've received during the year from people who are on the same journey or who have every intention of getting on the same journey. Um, so thanks to everyone for, for those. Next week is the start of a brand new year on the site. We're talking a bit about that then. Uh, I'll tell you about some of my plans for the site. Um, if you've got any questions at all, if you've got any uh, suggestions about what you'd like to see me include either on the site or uh, in the content, then please let me know. Don't assume that somebody else is gonna ask the question or make the suggestion, you know. I'm open to anything, you know, open to all, all comers. Um, like I say, doing a video in the next couple of days uh, on 
uh, the things that I've learned over the last year. So I'll leave the link down below for that. So until next time, I'm Kevin O'Hara for Alcohol Mastery. Onwards and upwards.